Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. So, welcome back after I think a couple of days. The previous video that you saw that I posted about India, um, where I stated uh, why I'm ashamed to be an Indian, was kind of short, I think, three days ago. So, for three days, I did nothing. Uh, three days, I decided I wouldn't make any videos like YouTube videos. Uh, I wouldn't uh, deal with any clients unless something was really urgent. I uh, predominantly decided to do like switch off, but in a very different way. And I'll tell you, this might actually help you in your work or in your day to day routine. So if you know my schedule, it's it's always get up after that run, after running, make the video, make two or three then go home, have breakfast, then answer emails, start uploading the videos. And before you know it, it's already, you know, four o'clock. Okay, speak to clients, whatever. And then evening is uh, go to the uh, vegetable fruit market, come back again, deal with clients, do some work. And then in the night, just relax. However, for the last three days, what I did was, number one is I completely, uh, because I stopped all videos, so there were no videos coming in, so I could, you know, reset my system, uh, the iMac. I deleted all the videos, I cleaned up everything, uh, did some system checkup, everything, okay, perfectly up to date. After that, I started to check all the emails, previous emails, anything that I missed. I checked, uh, are there anybody, is there anyone I have to get in touch with? Uh, I sent thank you notes. Thank you notes is something you should try often. Sending uh, people who have benefited you or helped you a thank you. In my case, how I give thank you is the people who are my vendors who give me their service. I give them a tip of a hundred dollars. In some cases, maybe more. Because, you know, money does the talking. Uh, with friends and people I know, just uh, hello, how are you? Just chat up with them for, I keep a timing like a few minutes so it doesn't go overboard because I have quite a number of them. Uh, it's predominantly business. Relatives or people who are close to me it's as simple as, hi, how are you? Just checking up with them. Then uh, the one thing which I did was on my phone, if you check my Instagram and if you check my Facebook, there were plenty of videos of my baby, plenty. I think close to uh, 1,700. So, and uh, they were just piled up. And it's quite a lot, huh? quite a lot. So I decided, okay, I'll get rid of all these. And I started to upload, either upload uh, to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. Uh, YouTube in the sense that just segments or just delete. And uh, I cleared, I think 80% of my phone got empty, 80%. Huh? It's quite a large sum. Then I went through the WhatsApp messages that my wife used to send me. I delete everyone else except my wife's because maybe there's something important. And I checked all of them, deleted. I'll tell you, just for the Instagram, Facebook, and this one, that itself took, I think, two and a half, three days. A lot of work, man, a lot of work. It was crazy. So I cleared that part. Now, uh, an exercise, I didn't go the same route that I normally go. I went. You know, a shorter route, little intense. I even took rest. And the other things which I did is, I purchased this new coffee machine, espresso. So, 
I actually put it on and I experimented to see, okay, do I know how to use this? Uh, is it okay? Is it fine? And it was perfect. The coffee machine was fine. Well, the first coffee didn't come out that great. But now after making the fourth coffee, now I know perfectly how I want it. And it's a very different combination. So what is the benefit of doing all this? The, and right now in my house, uh, home, there is this cleaner. I've asked her to clean all the books, all the shelves. Uh, that's quite a lot, you know, massive amount of books. It takes, uh, it'll take at least one to two days to clean all the books. Each book I clean with Dettol and alcohol uh, spray, you know. And uh, this I'm not doing because of the coronavirus. I've, I've been doing it for ages. I like to keep it clean that way. Uh, so, uh, what is the benefit of doing this? The benefit is not just order. When you switch off your mind from a particular problem or from a routine, you gain perspective. You know, to give you an idea, an example. Let's say I'm walking right now. You can see me face to face. But let's say you have a drone, you know a drone? And you go 100 meters above. You'll get a perspective 100 meters above. You go 200 meters, you'll get a perspective 200 meters above. You go 300, you get even more. 400, then 500, then you keep going higher and higher and higher. And finally, you can see life from a distance, you know? So, and that's the same thing with Google Maps. When you're driving, sometimes you feel you're driving the right direction. You feel you're going the shortest way. But when you use Google Maps and you ask the AI to pin out, which is the closest or easiest location, you might totally get a different answer. So that gives you a perspective, you know? So, by not doing the work for three days, I, uh, the work that I normally do, my priority work, even clients, I was able to get a kind of perspective, sit down and, you know, mind just kind of wraps up, okay, all these things I've been doing. And one day, just one full day, I spent only on gaming. I was just busy gaming. Um, I played Wolfenstein. I played Doom on my Switch. I tried new games. I downloaded new games. I, you know, I just purchased new games from Switch. Special offers, I purchased new games on PC. I purchased new games on the iMac. I tried different, different things. The reason being is, do something new, you know. I checked for special offers, uh, productivity apps, uh, anything that would uh, help my workflow get better. Uh, I purchased softwares for Windows or iMac that will help. I'm still experimenting to see, did I purchase the right stuff? Uh, so overall, it has been an experience where you know, I'm learning something new. And uh, if you see the photographs of me and my wife in the museum, I thought I would do something new for them, you know. So overall, even though the three days were like switch off, they were busy with some activity or another. So uh, I, I feel sometimes, you know, we, we need to do something different. So what is a suggestion or tip I would give you is, uh, if possible, if possible, take a... Uh, two days off from work, okay? Take two days off from work where, it's not you take off from work and you start doing, uh, you know, go with the family for outing and all that. No, that, then you're working again. Take two days off from work and spend the time in your house, cleaning things, keeping things in order, going through your clothes, going through your cupboard, uh, setting up. Maybe you need to throw out a couple of things. Maybe you need to buy some new things. Maybe you need to, uh, you know, sort things out. There are productivity apps. There are things you can buy for the kitchen that can make workflow easy. Like I used to normally go to buy my espresso coffee, uh, which is to take me roughly 45 minutes going up, coming down and settling down. And on top of that, I was spending like uh, 50 dirhams a day for coffee and tea. Now I purchased the machine. The initial investment would be more, but uh, now my wife can make express at home. I don't have to go out. Iced tea is made at home. So I'm saving all that money, you know? 
and I'm saving time. Uh, so, you know, uh, and yeah, like I say, always sharpen the saw. Uh, learn some new skill that will add more value. And I've told you, I've started to read books on uh, personal branding, resume writing, interview skills, negotiation. Just reading, just to see what can I learn, what new skill can I pick up, how can I get better. So it's very important to have those two, three days off, switch off. And uh, just do some reflection, just do some thinking. Because it'll give you perspective on life. It'll give you perspective where you're going, like that Google Maps. You're driving, you're constantly looking at things. Sometimes you don't know uh, where you're going, what you're doing. But when you, you know, use Google Maps and you see things from a far perspective, you can draw out the, the trajectory, the path you're supposed to go. You get an idea what you're supposed to do. And, uh, you know, you might even change your course to uh, go to your goal much more faster. In my case, it's, uh, you know, that idea. Ask me anything, those videos that are going to be coming now. I got that uh, while taking the day off, you know. So, yeah, this is what I suggest. Let me know your thoughts when trying something different. Do you feel it is? Yes. Yes. What you want? My baby. Yes. What you want? So that's it. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's keep the conversation flowing. Take care, guys.